Hi, everyone. This is Jared from Authentic Soundware. Uh, I'm here to give you an overview of our new library, Space Age Pop. Um, this is going to be a quick overview of just what's included, what this library is, and I'll have some other videos coming out soon that um, where I play through all the content and uh, show you how you might put it together. But uh, just to get started, I'll show you what you would get when you download. You would receive three zip files, um, one shots, and two zip files of the construction kits. You just expand those and then maybe consolidate um, all the folders into a new folder that you would create. So you'll see we have one folder of one shots and then the 10 construction kits. Just to be clear, this is not a uh, contact library of NKIs. This is a, 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 a sample pack. I guess I'd say it's a pretty elaborate sample pack. Um, and the main highlight is these 10 construction kits. If you're not familiar with, with what a construction kit is, um, that's basically that we've composed and arranged and recorded uh, 10 authentic sounding songs in this uh, Space Age Pop style, then edited and split out stems for each instrument from the song into audio loops that you can use to quickly reconstruct the, the, uh, the song and then you know, change the structure of it, remove things, add things, um, make something of your own out of it. So um, let's take a look at one of these. Um, when you open up one of the folders, you'll see there's a demo mix. So that's the song that, you know, as we made it, that's what you um, heard or could check out uh, on our webpage that, that uh, in the demos, that's, you know, those demos are what you're getting in the construction kit. Um, you'll see a demo full mix. Here's an alternate with no drums in case you want to add a different style of drums. If you're going to maybe use these samples in a hip hop context or a trap beat or something, and you, you're going to have 808s and you don't want to have the vintage jazz drums conflicting with it. This has just the tonal, uh, parts of the song. There's a lead sheet. I'll get into that later, but, um, we provided that for each song. And then there are two folders. There's the loops within a wet mix and a dry mix. So what's the difference? Uh, right. Wet mix is the loops as you hear them in the demo. So there might be um, additional chamber plate spring reverbs. There could be some really extreme EQ or harmonic distortion or saturation added. You know, everything we did to, to try and get that authentic sound. In the dry mix version, um, it's just a generally more neutral sounding mix with no additional reverb or effects. Now, does that mean it sounds super modern? No, uh, because we, you know, tried to get it sounding vintage at the moment it was recorded. So there's going to possibly be, you know, room tone, like on the orchestra or the horns. There's going to be, um, you know, that the microphones themselves were 1940s, 50s RCA ribbon mics. They, they're not going to sound super modern, but it, it is noticeably more neutral and you could uh, definitely, you know, take it in a different direction if that's what you need for um, what you're trying to trying to achieve. Um, so if we pop this open, you'll find all the loops for the different instruments, um, wet, dry, and then this number refers to what section of the song um, it corresponds to. So this is drum section one. You'll notice like for bass, it doesn't play in section one, so there is no loop there just to keep the size down. Um, then just another point here. So for the percussion, you'll find that there's a, a mix here. This is all the percussion instruments blended down into one submix as you hear on the demo, that would sound something like this. If you wanted to rebalance that or, you know, remove something, we've given you individual, um, loops for each, for each instrument. So um, you could go in and change that. Those will be different for depending on the arrangement of each song. And then just one more point about those those numbers. So if you go into this lead sheet, you don't have to... I know some people um, aren't great score readers, but this will still be helpful to people, I think. Um, you'll see that there's a section one, two, three, four, five. So, um, you know, you can find out, okay, we're in the key of B flat and... Um, you know, these are the chord changes. It just, you know, when you're using a construction kit, it, it 
possibly means you're trying to put something together really fast and you don't need to be spending time trying to figure out uh, like what chord voicing I was using when I wrote this song. Um, so you can just refer to that and, um, and like I said, those numbers refer to the numbers on the loop. Um, and then I'll just quickly go into the one shots. I'll do another video where I really play through all of these. So um, look for that link in the um, description or wherever it pops up. But um, there are loops for, well, first my Acme whistle. Let me just play you that because this is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I just love that sound. Um, it's the only whistle that keeps going after you stop blowing. Um, bass. These are individual notes. So this is a B-flat major scale going up the range of the instrument. Um, I've got two dynamic levels here. There's the bass guitar has chords, long chords, and short chords. I'll just play you one of these. Okay, A flat major six, sounds lovely. Um, the short chords, I'll explain this a bit later, but these are special sort of uh, bossa nova style voicings. For the drums, um, if you know our jazz drums library, you know we love jazz drums. And this is a new kit. This is a Radio King kit. Um, and we've got a lot of hits here. Four kicks, hi-hats open closed, um, different snares with rolls, flams, drags, floor toms, cymbals, stuff like that. There are um, full band one shots. Bam! That's the end of your song. Done. Uh, harp and vibraphone. These are just cool little. I don't know. I just love this stuff. You know? Ooh, so nice. So you could definitely throw that into a sampler, pitch it down, and, and turn that into a cool um, sound for almost any genre. Some cool hollow body guitar stuff. What's wobble to? There it is. Horns, we have a uh, full section. So the horns in this uh, is trumpets and trombones. These brass players are really, really good. Um, they play in Broadway pit orchestras all the time, the Village Vanguard, Prince, they're on tour all the time with the greatest people in the world. Um, absolutely killer horn players. So they've, we've got here samples that are trumpets on trombones together, trumpets only, trombones only. These are like different little one-shot and phrases things. Like, um, let's hear this nasty swell. What is that? <laughs> It's a nasty swell. That's like a Henry Mancini kind of thing. Then there's some individual solo trumpet notes, short notes, shakes, falls, rises. Same for the trombone. Jazz guitar. These are just some chords, cool chords you could use as a, throw in a sampler and do something fun with. Lap steel, scoops, you know, that kind of stuff. And orchestra. So we have some phrases. Um, I don't know if you call that a phrase, but a texture, I guess. Um, and then we also have some little short notes. These are just a little orchestration of pizzicato strings and uh, woodwinds. Oh, yeah, the, there's the Honer organ. This is a 64. Homer, Honer tube organ. We've got chords, glisses. What are these chords? Just minor chords, major chords, one shots. What are these? Little, these were cool. Just a little blip you could use for do something fun. Um, oh, yes. Then we have the full sustained notes in two different registrations on the organ. And percussion. This is like kind of the big thing. This was actually almost like the whole reason I did this library. I just always wanted to have a 1950s sounding um, cha-cha percussion section done the way I want. There are a lot of bongo samples out there, um, but this one just uh, is a little bit different, and um, I think it's you'll enjoy it. It's pretty fun to play. So there's about 200 
uh, percussion one shots here, two different kinds of um, bell, bongos, um, you know, clave, conga. I won't go through everything, but you know, it's long, short. It's not just one hit for each instrument. You know, tambourine has twelve hits, whatever. Uh, timbales. This percussionist uh, lived in Havana and really um, knows the style. And timpani has one sample. It's not a temporary library. Um, so that's the overview of what's included. I'm going to make a couple more videos at least where I go over how to put a construction kit together in your DAW. I'll play through all those one shots or a lot of them quickly so you can get a sense of what's there and uh, maybe do some other stuff if there's anything anyone wants to see. So uh, thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for checking out the library. I hope you, um, if you've decided to purchase it, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.